Hey, what's up, YouTube? Happy Easter to all those who celebrate. This is Alpha Prime of Prime Union, and in this video, we're going to talk about the Spring Limited Bundle. Uh, I'm not going to be popping crystals, but we're actually going to discuss all four of these bots. So, Sinner Twin for the Decepticons and uh, Streetwise for the Autobots, Ramjet for the Decepticons, and uh, for the Autobots, we have Goldfire, Sandstorm for the Autobots, and Octone for the Decepticons, Slash for the Autobots, and of course Ripper Snapper for the Decepticons. So this video, I actually have all four bots, and I have uh, had the chance to test all of them uh, as a four star, and all of my four star bots have level uh, 50 or, or level 51 plus. So, this is going to be a detailed video on all four of these bots in action. I'm going to show you guys how they work, and I'm going to give you my opinion on which of the four are uh, the best or which bot is the best and um, how you can use them. So, stay tuned for that. So, uh, before we get to that video, if you could please like and subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. And uh, let's get to some gameplay. All right, so here are the four bots offered in the spring bundle. Now, I have gone into depth on all four of these bots in other separate videos that I've made in the past. So if you want uh, a more detailed look at each bot individually, just go ahead and click the playlist below in my description and you can uh, hear my opinion on, on all four of these bots. But uh, basically, uh, let's take a, we'll take a quick look at Streetwise. Mine's level 54.8. He's got that great time split grenade, which, uh, he, which uh, makes your bots, your team faster by 30% and also slows down defenses in quite a large radius. So he's a very good bot for the raid mode. Uh, primarily, I would say, and if you have a WAC team that is uh, having time, having a tough time with time traps, maybe bring along Streetwise. As long as you get him leveled up pretty high, he'll have uh, quite a bit of health and damage. I mean, doesn't have a lot of health. Sorry, so you need to level him up quite a bit, just so that he can uh, last in the Cybertron level. And uh, as you can see there, I put a, a rejuvenate on him just to give him some more health. And that's the first bot. Now, the second bot we're going to talk about is Goldfire. Now, Goldfire is a warrior class bot, but he's very similar to Star Saber in terms of their abilities. The, he's got the Blazing Charge. It doesn't have the same range. It's actually a low, uh, a, a, he has a lesser range than Saber, and uh, he deals less damage than Saber as well, but, uh, but his special ability is cheaper to use. And it's still very damaging. So they're a beauty to pair together. If you want to watch them in action together, check out my video in the playlist below. But uh, basically, this is a great power leveling bot, especially if you've maxed out Saber already. Very nice bot. Uh, great for rushing and a lot of fun to use. So that's Goldfire. Now, the third bot we're going to talk about is Slash. And you always all know how much I love Slash. I think Slash is probably the, the best bot in this uh, of this batch for me. Uh, I, I would say her alone is worth going after this bundle because you're getting uh, good value for her crystals and you're getting uh, opportunity to get other bots as well. So if you don't have Slash, definitely recommend trying to go after Slash here. It's a good deal. And uh, here her ability is that uh, Hunter Camouflage and uh, I just love that it can stun uh, outpost bots, kill outpost bots and they can't hurt you. And uh, just eat away at an HQ and defenses can't uh, hurt her. So she's very useful. A lot of uh, cores work great on her. So very good bot, very versatile. And the last bot is Sandstorm, another bot that I really love. So the, probably my two favorite bots of this batch are Sandstorm and and uh, Slash. And Sandstorm, my level is level 54.8 as you can see. And he deals 1175 damage over 10 seconds. To enemies it provides 2176 healing if you combine combine that the air supply drop effect so if you pair the two abilities together you're you're getting the 2176 health to your teammates in that area 
and you're dealing double the damage. This 1175 damage that you see there, it it, uh, it doubles. So you're getting 2,350 damage to uh, a combination that you're that you're dealing. And we're going to show you an example of that in just a second here. Let's load up a an attack. And I actually got a chance to attack one of the YouTubers in in, in battle here. So Sky Warp Greer, you're up. Here is your. So again, I loaded up all four bots. We're using all four of these bots in zone 13. And uh, his base here has um, an interesting layout. He's got these uh, resource collectors at the bottom here just to split up uh, bots. So uh, that's why I drop two of them on the left there, two of them on the right there to take out this right side. So they all path up together. And uh, from here, you'll see I'm just going to use. Uh, Streetwise's ability here, the time split grenade, just to speed up the team. And uh, I, I use the Tar Sands Rush there, air supply drop, heals up the bots, and deals uh, quite a bit of damage to all the middle, all those middle defenses. And then Gold Bug on the left there to clear up the left side. Look at those, fl those little fl flame bugs going around there, killing all the left side. And once I pop those outposts, I, uh, you can't really see it, but Slash, I use Slash's ability, and she's just stunning the outpost bots and killing them very quickly. Uh, she, as you, as you saw, she, her ability is pretty high at level 56, 8, and down goes all of these outpost bots. And, uh, he's, Scarab Greer has very strong outpost bots. They're all, uh, quite high level. I think they're all, like, level 60, 10, something like that. So, strong outpost bots, but... You know, when you use Slash, they are very ineffective because she can just stun those bots. And as you saw there, uh, she just does extra damage to everything around her. Uh, anything that she touches, it's, you get that extra damage and that stun from her ability. So very nice uh, bot. I love it. Let's, let's try and find one more, one more uh, base for you guys. And I was, like Skyward Greer's base was great because I got to use all four of those bots. Um, let's go ahead and try another Zone 13 here. Okay, so this Zone 13 base here has kind of uh, got um, an interesting layout with uh, defenses all kind of stuck in the middle there. So this is probably a good Sandstorm type of base, uh, just because I'm going to use her, him in the middle there. I'll probably use him one more time to the HQ. So let's drop all our bots on the right here. We're going to get into range of all of them. Then I'm going to pop Streetwise's ability here just to slow down defenses. Speed up my team as well. And let's get to work here. Oh boy. Sandstrom went around to the side there. Give me a second. Okay, here we go. So we're going to go to the middle there with Sandstrom's ability. Use the air supply drop there to deal double damage to those middle defenses. And heal up the team. And one more time to the HQ. Combination again. Air supply drop. Look at that range there. Look at all those defenses getting attacked at the same time. Beautiful. And uh, from there, let's just use the uh, Slash's Hunter Camouflage on the HQ to take this HQ down. And uh, Gold Bug there just to finish up this right left side here. As you can see, little gold, little gold bugs flying around from defense to defense. This base doesn't stand a chance with these four bots in action. All right, so hope you enjoyed the gameplay on the four bots offered in the spring bundle. And here is the batch again, the spring limited bundle. And you're getting 40 crystals for 40 US dollars or 54 Canadian for me. So you're getting uh, twice as many for the same price. So definitely if you're going to be chasing bots and or five star bots, these are definitely the ones to buy over the, the regular crystals. You're getting a better deal and uh, getting Slash or getting um, Sandstorm is definitely worth it. These are, uh, these are great bots that will help add to your war team or to for power leveling. Outposts, they're all very good, especially Slash. She's such a good bot for all scenarios. Definitely uh, worth giving it a try just to get Slash. Okay. So, uh, again, uh, this is my opinion on the bots. If you have any comments that you want to make about these bots that I didn't mention, feel free to leave it in the description below or in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Alpha Prime of Prime Union. Peace out.